Today on Oki MTV, SCIP Midwest City. The SCIP trails were built in 2016 on property owned by the City of Midwest City along Northeast 23rd Street between Air Depot and Midwest Boulevard. It's right next to the Soldier Creek Industrial Park, which is where it gets the name SCIP. As of 2021, SCIP consists of just under six total miles of trails. The South Trails, white, orange, blue, and black, are located just south of the parking lot. The North Trails are accessed by crossing under the Northeast 23rd Street, where the creek passes under the bridge just west of the parking lot. You can access the crossing using the sidewalk, which is paved all the way under the bridge. SCIP is known for being an excellent trail system for beginners, but don't let that discourage you from riding the trails if you're an experienced rider. The SCIP trails may be low in difficulty, but they are rather generous with speed and excellent flow. The Orange Trail is accessed by the White Trailhead entrance near the rain shelter. Follow the White Trail to the left, which will then track along a small road and into the Orange Trail loop. You'll quickly get a feel for the SCIP flow in the woods. After a few moments, you'll come to a fork in the trail. Continue on to the orange loop by turning left or return to the white trail and parking lot by turning right. Soon after turning left and continuing on orange, you will cross a small gravel road. The orange trail continues straight and over a large fallen tree that is built up on both sides for easier crossing. The blue and black trails are to the right across the bridge. The Orange Trail winds along with nice flow. During the spring and summer months, there's plenty of shade under the trees and deer to keep you company. The Orange Trail leaves the shade of the trees for a short section of small pumps and then returns to the woods soon after. The blue loop is slightly more challenging than the orange loop, but still very rideable by beginners. There are a few more twists and turns and dips, and a lot more shade trees. Shortly after the trail turns to the south, you will pass the exit of the Black Trail. The Black Trail is a one-way trail, so do not enter here. Continue south along the Blue Trail as it makes its way up a gentle slope. The trail will eventually turn to the east, and after a rather deep gully, you'll find the entrance to the Black Trail forking off to the left from the Blue Trail. The Black Trail is the more expert level of the SCIP trails, but still a very rideable section even for those fairly new to mountain biking. There are a number of G-outs and berms along the Black Trail before it rejoins the Blue Loop. You will have to make the gentle climb back along the southbound section of the Blue Loop to continue on once you leave the Black Trail. The remainder of the Blue Loop is filled with berms and pumps that make for a great ride. The north section of SCIP has a slightly different, if not better, flow to it. There are three looping sections that can be ridden all together as one large loop, just under three miles in total, or as individual loops. The first section is the green loop. It's an easy ride with good flow and excellent speed.
Connected to the northernmost point of the green loop is the yellow loop. It's marginally more difficult, but still an easy ride with good flow. The yellow loop then connects you to the red loop. The red loop is by far my favorite section in all of SCIP because of the speed and smooth flow throughout the entire section. At the end of the red loop, there is a gravel road that takes you back south before entering the woods again and continuing on to the yellow and green sections. Take this time to like and subscribe to Oki MTV and connect with me on Twitter. The last bit of the yellow section was recently built to complete the loop and make it a one-way loop. It can be a little bumpy, so watch for roots. SCIP has ample parking, a few picnic tables, a porta potty and even a rain shelter. The trails are always very well maintained and have excellent hero dirt once it's had a day or two to recover from rainfall. There is little to no sand anywhere on the trails. SCIP is closed when raining and typically takes one to two days to dry out before being reopened. Be sure to check the trail status of SCIP and many other Oklahoma trails on the Rainout app or by going to the OEF website. <laughs>